Hey guys, quick video today. We're going to look at some digital LED strip. And while we're all used to, well, rainbow LED strip, as I call it, there is now also addressable white RGB strip with three colors of white. Let's take a closer look at that. Okay. So in front of me, there are two LED strips. To the left, there is a standard WS2812B. And to the right, there is an SK6812 WWA. WWA stands for warm white, cool white, and amber. So if we look at that, and we look at WLED, currently it's set to the red color. That means the left is red, and the right is displaying amber because, that, because that's basically linked to the red channel. If we now switch to blue, we see that the left becomes blue, but the right becomes warm white. And if we then go to green, we see that the left becomes green and the right becomes cool white. So basically they took the three channels and mapped those to different colors of white, including amber. If we now enable some effects, and I have a preset here, we see that on the left, we see a nice colorful representation of blue and red. And on the right, we see mixed white colors. So let's take a look at some effects and see how that turns out. So let's go to, 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 to let's see, color waves. I think I'm already on that. And let's set some different colors, uh, color palettes, really. So party has a bit of everything in it. And then uh, let's go to cloud and cloud is more blue. So we get warm white. But if we take lava, for instance, lava has more red in it. So we get amber and ocean. Oh, ocean is also blue forest. There we go. Forest is more green. So we get some more cool white. And well, rainbow bands basically does all the colors. And as you can see on the warm white, on the WWA strip, I should say, we see uh, the different colors pass by. Let's uh, look at some other effects. Well, for instance, Twinkle Fox. Do a little bit faster. There we go. Now, as I mentioned, this was just going to be a quick video showing off this different type of LED strip. And the reason I bought this was I wanted digital LED strip, so pixel addressable in certain spots. But actually the girlfriend was like, yeah, I don't need that rainbow barf all over the house. I like it in some spots and for some accent lighting, but in other spots, it's fine to have some twinkling effects and other color effects or rather pixel effects, but I'd rather just it be white light and maybe different shades of that and stuff like that, instead of having all kinds of rainbow colors everywhere. And I was like, eh, okay. I can get into that. So I started looking and I found this SK6812 LED strip. And I also have some pixels in another for form uh, on the way. And I'll do a separate video about a project I'm going to do with those later on this year. So here's another effect called Lighthouse that really shows off the different colors of white LEDs, starting with bright white and then trailing off into amber. I think that looks really cool. So yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to show you. And actually for certain effects, uh, let's see lightning, for instance, the white strip actually looks better than the colored strip because it has three forms of white you can show. And also the twinkle Fox I showed earlier, or let's see uh tri chase. It's a bit bright, but I like the white version better than the colored version, especially in certain situations. So since this is just SK6812, but with different diodes in the LED strip, basically, 
anything or any controller that sends out standard WS2812B format protocol, like my Queen LEDs running WLED as you're seeing now, should work fine. This is 96 pixel per LED strip, so there's about 450 pixels on this 5 meter strip. That's a bit higher density, and because of that it can use up to 60 to 70 watts of total power, but then again it also gives off a lot of light. I can't say too much about the quality of the white light. There's no CRI val value mentioned of course. Now mixing the three types of LEDs should give you pretty decent quality, and whatever the quality, it's 100 times better than using an RGB strip. And I think it's still better than using an RGBW strip because I haven't been impressed by those white lights that are attached in those diodes. Okay, now I wanted to keep this video short. If you'd like to buy some WWA strip, I'll have some linked in the description. Those are affiliate links and help me out. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.